good question. This is a new plan that sets out how the area between the A14, the railway line, and the guided busway will develop over the next 20 years. The main area that will be transformed is the current sewage work site, as that will be relocated. This is a huge area of land, it's bigger than Cambridge city centre, that already has good transport links and lots of jobs on the business and the science parks. And yet, at the moment, there are only three homes within the site boundary. This is a big opportunity for us to create a new city district that's different from anything we've seen before around Cambridge. Somewhere that's genuinely sustainable and designed in a way that we can all be proud of long into the future. We want to build 8,000 quality new homes, enough for about 18,000 people to live in. Two-fifths, 40% will be affordable, mostly housing association and council housing for rent, with some key worker housing for sale or rent and some to be sold under a shared ownership scheme. Then we think about 235,000 square metres of new business space can be built. We will also be adding extra industrial and retail space. That should be enough to support 20,000 jobs in addition to the 15,000 that already exists in the business parks and industrial areas. Some developments are already underway. For example, the hotel at Cambridge North Station. It's actually the reason why we want to get this draft plan out to you for comment, because it's a tool for us when developers put in planning applications. We can ask them to pay attention to the plan and push back on things that aren't in line with what we want to see. Altogether, we think the wastewater treatment plant will be relocated in around about four or five years and the first new homes in significant quantities will be a couple of years after that. It will take about 20 years in total for North East Cambridge to be fully built and during this time, we're planning on a number of temporary things to happen too. Examples are pop-up community spaces, temporary business spaces, and temporary community gardens or public spaces. So it will take a long time, no doubt about it, but we think it'll be worth it. We want to make it a place that will last for generations and be somewhere that you really want to live, work, and play. But we need you to tell us if we're going about it in the right way. So please get over to the website, check out the consultation, and tell us what you think.